Okay, hey guys, it's Safety Security Alert again. And today I'm going to be showing you how to wire up a pole station, a fire alarm pole station, to a fire alarm. So let's get started. Also, guys, um, this is a speaker strobe, my Simplex speaker strobe. Um, you cannot wire speaker strobes the same way with this kind of wire. Because it's a, it's like a, it's like a speaker, you know. It's not like a mechan it's not like a mechanical like horn inside of it. This is like you have to plug in to it, which I'll have a, another tutorial on. So yeah. Also, if you guys want to do it like without a pole station and using a battery, like a really quick way, all you have to do is take your fire alarm. You can just insert two wires in positive and negative and just touch them up to a battery like like this. Just sort of put them on the battery and it, it should go. I don't have the horn on on this wheel like I asked right now, but yet yeah, that's an that's a really simple way to do it. But let's get on to the real way. Alright guys, so now let's go. So for I'm gonna be using my Notifier and BG10 here with my Spectral Alert System Safety Spectral Alert Classic. So yeah, there you go. So what you're gonna do is flip your fire, your pulse station, and your fire alarm over. So first, from your transformer wire here, I'll just put that by a plug, and you'll plug it into the wall later. But never plug it in until you're done wiring, guys. So it's stripped here. So what this is gonna be negative. So first, let's look at the pole station. So um, I just put positive and negative there. It, yeah, you know, it doesn't really matter if it's positive or negative now, but I'm just doing it with negative. So it doesn't really matter though. You can just put, you just have to stick it in, make sure it's on the screw, turn it all the right way. And just screw that in. See that wire is in. So now we'll open the other side. Oh wait, I'm sorry. I put this in positive, you guys. So this black one will be positive for now. It doesn't really matter though. I'll take my speaker cable, my spare speaker wire cable. Oh, I just hope I don't get that screw to go out. And I will stick that underneath the screw. And screw it. Okay, so there you go. Your two wires are in the pull station, so we can put that aside. And if you look closely on the fire alarm, um, there are some alarms that are two wire, like two wire only. Um, and with that, you just stick in your positive and negative. But when they're four wire. Um, you see how there's these wires going from like negative into negative and positive to positive? I'll explain that in a second. But say these were not here. If you put them in the strobe terminals, then only the strobe would work and the horn would not work. If you put them in the horn terminals, only the horn would work. But the fact that they're jumped means so. If you put them in either, they both work. So yeah. Anyways. Let's unscrew our positive. I, I ugh, positive's here. My bad, you guys. <laughs> and we can take that. The other side of the speaker, not the speaker, the um, transformer wire, and we'll stick that in here. Make sure the jumpers are in if you want them. But you can remove them if you just want individual. I just gotta make sure, make sure all the Copper wire is all twisted together very well. So that's in and I will screw it shut. Okay, and now positive, or negative, I mean. We will just put that in there, just like that.
All right, so there you go. Our, our wiring is done. Okay, so here we go. We're gonna test this out now. It is plugged, the transformer is plugged into the wall. Um, so, yep, this is my BG10, and I've got my Allen wrench ready. So this is loud. Anyways, here we go. Three, two, one. Here we go. Three, two, one. Okay, I'll reset this. It's kind of hard to reset. Okay, there we go, it's reset, and I'll just close that up. Yeah, these hex versions are a little tough. <laughs> anyway, so, so let me just explain this again. The power comes in, it goes through to positive here, and the other side goes to positive here, and then jump from negative to negative. And you can switch them and do this um, positive and this negative, but it doesn't really matter. Anyways, guys, so that's how to wire up a pole station to a fire alarm. Thank you guys for watching. I hope I helped you today.